back when I was um, first starting, I was in that, like, di- I don't know if you saw, like, the DP star contest. It was, like, for a digital playground contract. Oh, right, right, right. And one of, like, one of the panelists, their advice was to not show too much of yourself and never say that you're married and never say that you're in a relationship because oh, yeah. it ruins the fantasy. And I was like, that just doesn't sit well with me because you spend so much of your time working, right? It's like, I don't want to completely abandon like who I actually am. Like that's what differentiates you from another girl. Like I don't want to be just like ditzy and available, right? Like there's so much more to me. Um, Well, and it gets old. Yeah. Let's be honest. It gets old. I mean, you can pedal that shtick for the first six months, Mm -hmm. but I mean, after a while guys stay And this is often the advice that I give girls is when you're building your brand, you should encompass your life, you know, of course, what you're comfortable Mm -hmm. with, because that's why they're going to stay after all these years, they're going to keep joining your OnlyFans, or they're going to listen to us talk because they're so curious. They want to know who you are. They're going to follow you Mm -hmm. if they like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. So do you like do you mentor girls or do you like try to like dish out advice cuz I feel like I when I started to reach that level where I felt like I needed to kind of give back and maybe like I would see someone about to like jump into a trap and I'm like, "Oh, don't do that. Like let me yeah. help you." But most of the time I feel like ego gets in the way and competition gets in the way and like they feel like maybe you're trying to like sabotage them or something, but it never worked out for me, so I kind of just stopped. I'm the same way. I'll be honest with you. I've always said that my heart is always open. My mind is always open. You know, uh, I, I'm really terrible at the social media thing. Are we live by the way? Yes. No, live? No, no, not live. No, no, no. That adds like a whole nother level of complexity. Like I don't want to deal with. So yeah, it's like all recorded. Um, um, sorry. Now I'm like, um, I'm all (laughs) nervous. No, um, But something that I'll agree with you on is I found with social media, there's such a barrier there. And I think half of it is jealousy. I think some of it is ego. And I think some of it is almost this desire to to kind of watch girls from afar. It's like girls, because of their ego, won't follow other girls, but they're so curious. Uh-huh. They want to know what they're doing. They want to know, like, hey, girl, where'd you get that outfit? Ooh, she lost a few pounds. I know she did. What is she drinking? Hmm, she was with this guy last year, and I know him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your mind just starts going. And so part of me was I always made it really clear that, um, I was I was always available to help girls, as you said, navigate the business, regardless of our personal views, political views, regardless of, you know, things that you choose to do. Because I've always said that there's many facets of the adult industry that I don't necessarily support, mm-hmm. meaning some of it to me is very, I would say, aggressive. Yeah. Some I'm, I kind of always stayed more on the glamorous side. Mm-hmm. Um I loved feature dancing. That was a huge, huge uh, part of the business that I stayed in long after I quit shooting hardcore. But I've always said to girls, I'm more than happy to give you the advice that's worked for me. If you want to try webcamming, if you want to build your own site, anything that I know that's worked for me, I'm more than happy to help you with that. I've kind of, because I would get these DMs like, this guy's taking all my money. And I was like, (laughs) oh God. I don't want to be like the therapist, but you know what I'm saying? That's part of mentoring too. Like you, you, you feel like you can't really pick and choose what advice you want to give, Mm -hmm. but I've tried to just stay more professional than personal Mm -hmm. as far as mentoring goes. And I find that that (laughs) has helped me. I don't know if that made sense. No, it totally does. Like at least you're still like available for certain things. Like you haven't completely closed that door where for me, like it's pretty closed. I've just been like burnt too many times and yeah. I don't know. It's like, I again, I started with like th- such an open place. Like I just, I experienced a lot of shit in my, you know, my time. I've been shooting for like 10 years now, um, but I mm-hmm. haven't been shooting mainstream now for about four. And oh. it was like the kind of the same thing. Like we had similar um, careers in the same sense as like, I've always kind of done the more of like the pretty stuff. Like, right. like I, I performed dirty, don't get me wrong, but I still did it pretty. And I never right. was with more than two people at one time. Um, 
which puts you in a whole different category too, not to cut you off, but as far as the fans go and as far as your peers go, it kind of, it kind of in a roundabout way segregates you as well, just for people listening when, when that's why I say facets of the industry, because there are like strictly webcam girls, mm-hmm. there are strictly, and I find that that's really getting blurred now. Oh yeah. Yeah.